Hello, uh, welcome to day four of our two week session two T-Rex summer training program for parent and child aquatics, uh, all the way to whales, dolphins, a um, little bit older kids. So um, day four, uh, our safety topic is basic water rules and water safety. So if you'd like to pause this video and kind of go over with your child your basic water rules um, when around water or the bathtub, you can do that and then you can come join me and I'll say some of the rules that I think are prevalent. So um, welcome back. So I, for me, I would personally say um, no walking or running around the sides of the, um, the pool, the bathtub as we could slip and fall. Um, another thing is to wear shoes when we're at the beach or anything like that when walking because there could be um, some sharp objects that we don't know about. Um, anything like that and also maybe wearing life jackets in deeper water is another good way to to keep safe in the water here um so some of our review skills um with our blowing bubbles uh if we're new to this maybe trying to get the nose in today um so blowing bubbles we want to hmm out the mouth and when we're doing the nose it's breathing out of the nose uh we can do our cake game i haven't taught this yet in session two but what i do is i say okay we're baking a cake um, so our imaginary cake we're putting down in the water, have the kids look at it above the water, under the water. Um, and then we put some, put some little frosting, blueberries, whatever on the cake, put our toppings on the cake. Then we have to bake it, so you gotta go underwater and shut the oven. And then when it's done, we gotta blow out the candles on the cake. So this is when we put our faces in the water and hmm, blow out our mouth and our nose. Um, so some of our new skills, um, we're going to work on our alternating arm and leg movements on our front. So remember our digger arms, we're really going to focus on our digger arms and our flutter kick legs. Um, so for parent child really holding underneath the rib cage is a good support uh, for this one. Uh, for other kids, um, the same thing can be done just to keep them afloat and really focus on those digger arms. Um, Another thing for older kids is using a kickboard to focus on those flutter kicks. So remember using our digger arms. We really want to dig into the water and push that water backwards. Um, when we're doing this, we want to also focus on our flutter kicks and that will progress us through the water a little bit. Um, so um, doing our combined arm and leg actions on the, the back now. So remember we're saying bye son by sun as we're gliding through through the water with younger kids with older kids we might just need to support the lower back again the same thing goes with our back flow um so we say by sun and the same leg actions are our um our flutter kicks today um so another a thing you can do for a game today is um so loud and quiet kicking so you say loud kicking and they have to kick 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 those um flutter kicks very loud and quiet kicking is just kind of kicking them soft, softly. That's the game I like to do uh, with today's lesson. So great job today, you guys. Um, I'll see you um, for day five.